read a book about a blackout that inspired me to go into STEM. It was a storybook, the kind with pictures in them. And there was a blackout in a town and the electric company sent a team to work on the issue. So when I turned the page, there was a woman on an electric pole. She was wearing a hard hat with the safety gear. And I remember being fascinated by that picture and thinking, I want to be like her when I grow up. So that was how it all started. The reaction from my family when I told them I wanted to go into engineering, in the beginning it wasn't very supportive. My father was worried that there was no place for a woman in engineering, so I wouldn't have a future in it. It took um, convincing from an engineer to get him to know that there are opportunities and that I can make it in engineering. So that's when he gave the go ahead. For most other people, the question was, can you do it? Are you sure you can do it? So it wasn't very encouraging. A year later, I was hired as a technical advisor myself. I went for training and became a controls technical advisor. And that's my current role right now. The trainees I've undergone so far are administrative and technical trainees. For technical, I received max 60 gas turbine controls training. That's for my current job. And for leadership training, I've received the delivering customer impact training. And I've also received influencing skills training. In GE, the male counterparts are very supportive. They, they are always there to help when you need them. But sometimes you meet other people from other companies on site who maybe have the impression that you are a woman. Really, what do you have to offer? So then you have to prove yourself to those people. My uh, responsibilities uh, basically the control system I have to make sure that the software for the control system works the way it should work uh, I have to supervise the installation of instrumentation devices for the gas turbine in the field I have to make sure that they are working properly they've been calibrated properly and if during the outage there is any issue if a device fails a valve is not moving as it should I have to find out what is wrong communicate with engineering and the team on site and find a solution for the problem. What I love most about my job is being able to fix an issue. When something breaks down and they call you in and you troubleshoot and then you find out what is wrong, the feeling, you get this fulfilling and satisfied feeling that you're doing the right thing. I believe more women should be in STEM roles because of the message it sends to younger girls. Some of the girls think they can't because they haven't really seen a lot of women who do the jobs that they want to do. For me, it took a drawing of a woman in a book to inspire me to pursue my interest. Maybe for another girl, seeing a woman in STEM role will tell them that it's not really impossible. There's someone already there, so maybe I can also do the same. If you have the interest to become a scientist, you have to find out what courses do I have to do to take me to that direction. So when you go to school, you take those courses, you excel in them. And when you see an opportunity for that role, you go and you apply for it.